I don't know if it's irritated tingling. I, I can't tell, but to, okay, it's just getting too tight. back to my channel it's Janine thanks so much for tuning in for another video before we begin if you're not subscribed go ahead and do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and while you're at it go ahead and hit that notification bell so that way you'll stay alerted and on top of videos that I will be bringing your way so in today's video I am going to be doing a detox for my hair and for my skin for my face specifically and the product that I'll be using today is Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay, which is also the world's most powerful facial and beauty product. This is a deep pore cleansing 100% natural calcium bentonite clay. Now I've already used this product on several occasions for my hair and my scalp, but this will be my first time actually using it on my skin. Bentonite clay is a natural ingredient that is sourced directly from the earth. In addition to this clay being a powerful facial mask, it's also great for the hair, scalp, acne prone skin, and even insect bites. Bentonite clay has a negative charge, so it attracts positive charge products that build up on the hair and scalp, working as a clarifier and detoxifier. In other words, bentonite clay is like a magnet for product buildup. Its anionic property also makes bentonite clay effective at drawing out toxins, heavy metals, chemicals, and impurities. Bentonite clay is also antimicrobial and helps with irritated or flaking scalps. Bentonite clay also contains a mixture of natural ingredients that are beneficial for your hair and can encourage hair growth. It moisturizes, conditions, softens, and reduces frizz. Bentonite clay encourages curl definition and shine. And my skin has just taken a whole nother turn. At first I thought it was getting better, but it's getting worse. So I've really got to crack down on my skincare. And I thought I was doing a good job and being consistent every day but apparently something is not working. And it could just be that my, my pores, I'm not really cleaning my pores like I need to be. And I still have a lot of gunk in my pores that's clogging it and still causing the uh, breakout. So that's why I wanna do this facial using this detox because it's supposed to really pull all of the gunk and junk out of my skin, out of my pores, and that's what I want to do. And once I finish my facial and get that all washed off my skin, I'm just gonna go in using the Clarifying Tea Tree Face Mist with Witch Hazel. It clarifies and tones for balanced skin, helps to detoxify and purify, and helps support clear, healthy skin. So the fragrance of this mist is very relaxing, very soothing. So when I spray it on my skin, it immediately wakes up my skin, refreshes my skin, as well as my senses. And it's just an amazing product. All right, guys, so I'm ready to get started to get healthier hair and skin for 2020. So we're starting the year off right. We're detoxifying. We're getting everything clarified and cleansed for a fresh start. So without further ado, let's get started. So to make this mask is very simple. You just need the bentonite clay and apple cider vinegar. And I'll be using Bragg's apple cider vinegar with the mother. I don't use any specific measurements. I just keep mixing until I get a semi-loose, not runny consistency so that the clay can easily glide smoothly on my hair without too much of a mess. The most important thing to remember about bentonite clay is to use a wooden or plastic spoon and a plastic or ceramic bowl. You don't want to use metal because metal can activate the clay before it reaches your hair, reducing its ability to detoxify your hair. For my hair personally, I like to start by spraying it with a warm mixture of water and apple cider vinegar to get it nice and damp for better and easier application. And then I start to saturate my hair with the clay mask. Now while applying this mask to my hair, it will start drying and stiffening up in sections. So I like to have my spray bottle on hand so I can rehydrate my hair. I 
I like to leave the clay on my hair for no longer than 20 minutes. Since the clay does a powerful job in removing product buildup, dirt, and impurities, there's no need to shampoo. But since bentonite clay can dry out the hair, I like to replenish the moisture in my hair by washing off the clay mask with a moisturizing conditioner. So I'll be doing a tag team treatment using the Herbal Essence Deep Moisture Hello Hydration Conditioner as well as the 50-50 Balance Hydrating Calming Conditioner from Giovanni which is one of my all-time favorite conditioners. Okay, so literally as I'm standing here, I can feel this mass tightening my skin, tightening my pores, like it's like, it, it feels like this. It feels like it's squeezing my face. And I have this stuff all over my hands. But I can feel it working. Um, five to ten minutes is what it said. I probably am not gonna leave it on my face ten minutes. Five, the most. Ten, my hair, but I, my face is tingling, so I don't know if it's a good thing <laughs> or a bad thing. But it's tingling like... I don't know if it's irritated tingling. I, I can't tell, but to, okay, it's just getting too tight. Let me just wash this off of my face. <laughs> What I love about this bentonite clay is how it removes the product buildup from my hair and just leaves my hair and my scalp in a nice clean refreshed state. It leaves my hair feeling moisturized, conditioned, my curls defined and very soft. Okay, so we're done and my hair is feeling super, super soft and very, very big, <laughs> but it's super soft and um, I definitely feel that it is free from all of the gunk and product buildup and gels and edge controls and just all the stuff I had in my hair. So we're starting out on a clean slate. And as far as my skin goes, my skin feels very smooth. There was a little redness up under my neck, but I think for the most part, it may be, yeah, it's pretty much gone away. Um, so I washed it off. It wasn't an easy task washing it off, but I got it off. I use this Noxzema to get it off, um, just to have something moisturizing to wash it off. And I think that did really well. Cause it was like bricks <laughs> it was hard as a rock and now uh, the water and the water just wasn't getting it for real so i really needed something to loosen up and then noxzema did the job so yeah so my skin is not irritated it doesn't really feel dry it just feels tight is how i can best describe it uh, no irritation. My skin is not burning or itching or, any, or anything like that. My skin feels very smooth. It feels very soft. I'm just going to lock it in with a mixture of oils. I have castor oil and what was left of this Bloom Super Potent Healthy Hair Hair Growth Oil um, that has organic herbs, vitamins, and botanicals. So I have that mixed in there. I'm going to spray this in my hair from Mazzani because I just love this stuff. So that pretty much completes the video. This video was just to show you how I detox my skin, my face, and my hair. And that's pretty much it. The styling, I'm going to do that off camera. So I hope you guys enjoy watching me do this detox on my hair and my skin. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up because it definitely helps my channel and it tells YouTube that you do like content such as this. So definitely give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It's just Janine and I will see you on the next video. Bye guys. I'm just showing you guys the back of it. Excuse my camera, but this is the only way I can really get a good shot.